Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we'll talk about electricity and oil, how to connect all the pieces together, as well as talk about the mistake that I made along the way so that you can avoid them. Let's get started. I like to go ahead and press on the oil spring that takes me to the oil area. We need to get a oil refinery up, in this case right here. Once you click the oil refinery you need to put some oil wells. Luckily for me in this area I have three oil wells which is at the peak efficiency for one oil refinery. So we'll click and then we'll put the oil wells here. Don't forget that you can also rotate the building by pressing a little comma or the period on your keyboard to rotate so that the train tracks can come out in a certain area that you want. There's two areas for the train tracks to come out. This top area and the bottom area here. After that we'll go ahead and put down the railway and connect it to all the way down to our oil harbor here. If you ever need more space for your oil you can always add a oil storage which is right here next to this area in the free harbor. Over here we do the exact same thing, the oil plant here. The power plant also needs to connect to a railway all the way down to your oil harbor here. When you click on the oil power plant you can see the green area which shows the service area that the buildings can benefit from the power plant. And if we zoom in close we can see the power lines which shows which building has connection to the electricity network. After you set everything up, just give it some time. Eventually you'll see a bunch of these little trains come out and transport oil. There you go right here. Now moving forward, I want to talk about the mistake that I made. When we zoom in here, you can see the train tracks, but there's a problem here. But because there were no roads to the left and right hand side, these two investor buildings before, they didn't have access to the road. So what I did was I had to delete them and just place a decoration. So how do you avoid that mistake in the future? Well, when you're planning your city, make sure you have space so that you can put roads here and here. Let's move on to an open space so I can show you what I mean. So what I would do is have a road here, a road here, then the train tracks can go here, and to the left and right hand side, you can put the buildings there. That way all buildings, all residential buildings can have access to your main road. Now let's go ahead and talk about another problem that you might have. Let's say your starting island does not have oil spring. And let's say another island of yours has the oil spring. So how do you get that over? So what you can do is go ahead and go to the island, the new island that has a bunch of oil. Just an example, in this case there's no oil in here, but let's consider that there is oil on this island. What you do in this case is go to your engineer tab and you build a commuter pier, just like this one right here. It allows you to transfer your engineer workforce and then after that, you go ahead and locate the oil source, build your oil refinery, as well as your oil well, connect all the pieces together, and then you build your power plant. Once you do that, go to your large harbor and you build a steam shipyard. The steam shipyard allows you to build an oil tanker, so you can take that oil and transport it back to your main island. And that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, I'm actually curious to see what you guys think. I know this is not the most beautiful train track here. It's really disgustingly ugly. Um, I'm pretty sure many of you are smarter than I am and you'll be able to find a better solution for this. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you can improve it. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I think the oil electricity is a quite an interesting concept. Uh, it does have some issues, but there are workarounds. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.